Today we're going to talk to you and show you how to use the truck calls to this amazing product. Um, in each box you're going to get instructions, a carry bag, and two truck calls. Of course always read your instructions to make sure you know, to know how to use the product properly. There's uh, just a few things you need to be concerned about when using the truck calls. Is one, the valve stem. Of course it would be silly for you to put your strap and lock it in on a valve stem. It's just going to cause you a bad day. The other thing is make sure you have your clearances here and here. One other thing is make sure you have a clearance to be able to feed a strap through without interfering with your brake caliper. Your truck calls comes with, we call these the rim saver. You only need to use these on a low profile rubber tire that just has small rubber then you just lock it in on the on the, the rim so you don't scratch it but today we're going to use it on a high profile tire which is a standard tire so in that case you just pull off your rim saver throw it back in your box for maybe helping somebody else out one day but anyhow you have a small one and a big cleat it tells you a directional so we're going to set this up to go this way so you always put the direction you prefer to go in to get out so that the front one comes in, cleans your slop, and then your big one comes in and takes the grab. But there literally is nothing on a product that's this simple to hook up to get you out of anything. Snow, ice, sand, mud, you name it. Now that's the proper way to install it on a rear tire. Now, on a two-wheel drive, you can get some amazing results by adding more than one pair of claws on. You can put another one at 3 o'clock or at 9 o'clock and so when it's spinning around it's just it's a quicker grab and it gets you out of your problem fast. And always remember let the truck claw do the work. Do not throttle it real fast. You just dig yourself in deeper. Now this product comes with an accessory. It's an extender bar. Now when you own this you're only going to use this in mud and sand. You'll never have to use it in snow and ice. This, this amazing tool just eats that stuff up. But if you're in deep mud, and most of the time you're just going to end up using this to help somebody else who doesn't own a set, and they've already buried to their axles. But the way you use this is you put this on, slip it in, on both sides, one on each tire. It's going to give you another 10-inch grab or footprint to give you a better grab. Now, if you're in real sloppy mud or it's just loose sugar sand and you're trying to get an axle up, just take a, I'm going to give you an example of using this, but you can take a branch, a board, anything, you lay it beside, parallel to the tire. Now when this thing comes around and lands up on top of it, lifts up your axle, it moves you forward. It's just, it's an amazing product and has so many possibilities for using. Now, to remove a truck claw, you're just going to take your piece, bring it down there and just give it one little pop. It is just that simple to use. I mean, on and off. Now, I'm going to go show you some things on a front four-wheel yeah. drive truck. Opening in the rim with no valve stem. When you install the claws on the front tire on a four-wheel drive, only do that when you're in a bad situation and you need to. Keep in mind that when you turn the front wheels of your vehicle, it shortens the clearance inside your wheel well. So it's very important and when using them on the front wheels of a four-wheel drive that you keep the tires as straight as possible. If you have to turn it off, keep it very slight. Make sure you keep the tires straight. Otherwise, it decreases your space and can damage the inside of your wheel well. Now, to remove truck claws, it's just too simple. Take your excess strap that you tucked into your ratchet, open the ratchet, until it gets to that position and then just tap it down with your hand and it releases the ratchet. Now you just pull the excess strap out of the ratchet, slide the claw out and pull the excess strap out. Also on our straps, if you got a steel rim, we have this strap protector sleeve that you'll want to position anywhere the strap's going to come in contact with the rim so that it doesn't cut the strap. Truck claws can be used multiple times. They can be used uh, to help others out. They're simply an amazing product. Don't get stuck without your truck claws again. You can help yourself. You can help others. It's just too powerful of a tool to not have in your truck. Have a good day.